Hello my loves and happy Valentine's Day if you celebrate. To those of you that don't, you'll really like this tutorial because as you can tell from the title, I'm coming to you guys today with an anti-Valentine's Day tutorial. So this is a look that you can wear anytime you want when you want to look a little bit smoky, sultry, and sexy. You can wear it to break hearts, you can wear it to your first date, you can wear it for whatever you want to. Me personally, I don't celebrate Valentine's Day. It's actually my least favorite holiday. Um, I feel like love should be celebrated every day, all day. Um, and love is also part of respect. And seeing how the world is kind of taken a turn for the strange or worse, um, I definitely do not like Valentine's Day because we should be showing love, compassion, and caring for others every day of the week. So even if you're cold hearted like I am, I still love and I love hard. So anyway, um, this isn't an anti-love um, tutorial. This is just an anti-Valentine's Day tutorial. So I'm all about love, baby. But I'm all about love every day of the week. Every day, 365 days out of the year, 24-7. Uh, so even when you're upset, you have to have some love in your heart. So yeah. <laughs> That was some cockamamie BS, huh? No, I'm just kidding. Um, I rambled on enough about that. So now this tutorial might get weird because I was doing a first impressions on some products as well as filming this tutorial for you guys. And things got weird with my camera and my camera ghost. To those of you that have been tuning in for the last maybe year or so, I do have a camera ghost. Whether you believe in that stuff or not, um, things got weird. I got a little overwhelmed and I do not know how I finished two videos but i did so just a fair warning that shit might get weird um but what better day than on valentine's day so anyway guys i hope you guys like this video if you want to see how i achieved this gothic-y anti-valentine's day look then keep on watching Okay, so I'm gonna start off with the eyes. I really want to just make this video about the eyes, a little bit of the face, and of course the lips. And it's gonna be a very dark um, color, I think. In my head, it's gonna look like a cherry cordial look, but whatever, it's not some traditional, anyway. So I'm gonna start off with my painterly paint pot that has, hasn't had much love. Um, well, not lately. Lately, it's received some love. So I'm going to take some painterly paint pot because I want to add a nice base to my lids. I'm going to be using lots of darker colors, so I don't want my lids to stain. So I always recommend using a base that's a skin type base or even a dark base if you want. Um, the brush I'm using for putting this product on is my favorite um, Precision Flat P80 brush from Sigma. And I freaking love this brush for placing primer products on the lids. Because it buffs it out just like it's Big Brother. The F80. <laughs> what are you doing? I don't even know what I'm doing, to be honest. I'm literally just winging this look. But in my head, I had like a brown, like a, a really brown smoky eye with like a red crease or even a pink crease. But anyway, I'm going to be using my Violet Boss Holy Grail palette. This palette is very very good i absolutely love it i have it looks like shit because i i use it y'all heard that shit oh lord it is so windy right now we just had like a butt ton of of storms but anyway i'm gonna actually start off with bestie which is a really pretty transition color um because i don't want like a harsh pure red on the crease so i'm gonna go ahead and um take one of my wet and wild brushes it's one of my crease brushes. It's a pretty good brush. And I'm going to take Bestie right there. And I'm going to take this on the crease and give me that warmth. I'm actually going to take it up. If you have hooded eyes, you want to keep it past the hood um, and bring it up a little bit. Um, this is a light color, so it will look really, really pretty as a transition shade for most um, skin tones. If you're a more of a deep skin tone, you might, you might want to try Are You Kidding Me and maybe mix it with Bestie. Um, but it's a really, they're both really pretty transition shades. I feel like in the 80s, they used to use their whole like lid space. Like I'm like up here. Normally I'll just stick right here, but I'm like up higher. But you guys should see the madness come to light. 
I'm gonna use my favorite Cosette uh, one, S175 brush. It is a longer brush, it's tapered. It is perfect for hitting this right here and then blending it in. So I'm actually going to go in with Wine and Dine, which is the more vibrant shade out of the bunch. Just tap off a little bit of the excess if you feel like you put too much product. And I'm actually just going to work it on this outer V right here. And I'm gonna be, this transition is pigmented. And as you can see, it just kind of skipped a little bit there. This is a pigmented crease shade. So what I do is I normally work back and forth when I'm working with a shadow like this because I want it to blend seamlessly. I'm gonna take back my blender brush. And yes, it picks up product when you're blending it, but it, it makes it nice and clean. Go in with a jumbo eye pencil. This one's the next black bean jumbo eye pencil. I have tape around the lid because the lids on these are so shoddy and they break. So anyway, I'm gonna take this on the base of the eye. Like really just hitting mostly the lash line. Oh y'all like this chick looking crazy. It's okay, blend it with your finger. You could blend it with a Q-tip, you could blend it with a brush. But I am just... This isn't a brush that I use much, but this is the Cosette number no. eight brush. This is from his Infinite collection. And it is a long but flat brush. And I actually like it for more precision when it comes to adding like a smoky color. So I'm gonna go in with Teddy Bear and I'm gonna mix it with brownie points. And this is gonna go all over my lid. So the reason why I put the black base is because I wanted more depth to the brown-like shades. So I'm literally just packing it up on top. So now that I packed it on the lid, I'm gonna go in again with my fluffy brush and I'm just gonna take the brush and blend those colors that I just added into the crease. This is going to be a smoky eye, clearly, clearly. So I'm gonna go in with Teddy Bear and Brownie Points on the fluffy brush, because I wanna literally smoke this out. I do not want too much of the red, just too much harshness of the red, and which is the original transition shade that I used. And I'm gonna go in and clean up some of that uh, edge out. So I'm literally gonna take it and blend out. So I'm just gonna clean up a little bit. You just take some micellar water or a makeup remover wipe or whatever. So I always have to add a pop of highlight so I'm actually going to go in with Ploof, Ploof which is like a pinky color and I'm gonna go in with an elf this is an elf eye crease brush it's one of their smaller ones so I'm gonna go in with floof and I'm gonna take it on the inner corner like so I always have to add a pop of highlight and because this is a pinkier color it kind of goes um then I'm gonna take crystal and layer it on top this one is not as um shimmery but it is really pretty for an inner corner highlight take some on the bottom of, of the bottom of my brow i haven't done my brows yet guys don't judge me i'm gonna do the wing liner i have the smallest liner brush as you guys can see um this is a uh, royal and land uh 20 over zero brush um i have this is the elf one and as you guys can see it's a big difference this is one i used for many years um, I also have well, another elf one. Elf was popular. I also have another Royal Atlantical. This one is the 5 over 0 brush. And it's a big difference. Um, this is very small. I love it for precision lining. I'm using my Inglot number 77 gel liner that's been very loved for the last three years. Um, I keep it alive with Duraline, which is amazing. Okay, so I'm going to go in and line my eyes and I usually start from the center and 
and then go into the inner corner. I'll show you guys a trick on how to get a really sharp wing liner. So you take a little bit of tape. Um, I'm gonna do it because it'll just be easier for me to do it this way. Um, so you can already start by doing your, your eye look, especially if you don't have foundation on, um, and take the tape on the back of the hand, take it off the skin a few times, and then place it from the lower lash line out. Like so, just press it where you need it. Do not press it under the eye right here because you're gonna need it to lift up like so. So this is a little trick I do when I want, um, when I don't have the time to be like very precise. Trick I use every now and again. So <clears throat> you're gonna start by filling in that outer V part like so and then bring it up, fill it in. And the tape is a guide. You can paint right over the tape. And you can go up as high as you want with your wing. I think this is the best I'm gonna do right now. Um, again, this is the good thing. You could just paint on the tape. Um, but anyway, you go in and you lightly peel. Again, it shouldn't be harsh. And there's your wing liner. And it, I know it looked a lot longer with the tape, but that's why you kind of follow the guides. Like so. Go in and tight line using my Fergie, um, my Wet n Wild pencil. I'm going to move on to the face, the brows, and all that stuff, and I'll come back to you guys. Take a little bit of my MAC Fix Plus. You can use water, but I'm too lazy right now. And I'm going to take some in a little jar like this. I'm going to use my Besame Cosmetics Mascara Cake. I love this stuff. Um, I, I don't think I've used it on camera since I did my first Latina owned makeup brands tutorial, but I love using this for my brows. So I have here the Smith 203 brush. This is like the most amazing thin, like this is a thin um, angled brush and it's perfect for my um, brows. Anyway, I'm gonna take the cake mascara. I'm gonna wet the brush. You can use, like, like I said, water. I'm using, and you literally just swirl the brush around in there. And then I'm just gonna start doing my brows. So you guys can tell the difference of doing a brow and not doing a brow. Now that my face is done, I've contoured and stuff like that, I'm gonna go ahead and finish off the eyes. And I'm gonna go in with a mix of Teddy Bear and Wine and Dine. And I'm gonna take that on my small shader brush that I can't find right now. Oh no, I have the Wayne Goss 05 brush that I got from my, um, my uh, Lucky Bag. So I'm actually gonna go in with Wine and Dine first tap off the excess and go in with teddy bear so this is gonna give me a nice dark red and I'm gonna take that on the lower lash line oh my god this brush is so soft it's pointy so you get what you want the position that you want and then you just blend yeah. I'm just gonna mix two mascaras I'm gonna be using the wet n wild lash renegade and the essence Lash Princess is actually one of my favorites. Um, you guys haven't seen me use my Too Faced Better Than Sex in a while because I'm trying to use up most of these. So I'm gonna go ahead in with the Lash Renegade. You can curl your lashes if you like. I personally don't um, curl my lashes, but yeah, here goes. They're both really good. Let's use the Makeup Revolution. I just did a whole bunch of wet and wild stuff, so let's give that a break. Right, so I'm gonna be using the Makeup Revolution Shimmer Brick Radiant, and I actually really, really do love this highlighting um, palette. So I'm gonna be using my highlighting brush, and I actually literally just go like this. And then I, look at that glow. 
for the lips um i've highlighted i've done everything for my face i even slapped on this girl for you guys yes honey so anyway for the lips i'm actually going to be applying dominatrix by jeffree star i wanted to keep it kind of monotone in a sense i was thinking of adding a black lipstick and then you know patting in some red but i just thought that might be too much but anyway i'm gonna go ahead and apply dominatrix by jeffree star um there are some dark brown dupes for this kind of color um i know color pop has a few so if you're not into this brand that's fine um i can try to help you guys out if you want to see if there's any dupes or anything like that or any brands that have like a dark brown lip like this if you're into it if not wear whatever color you want baby let's do our makeup together like a sisterhood and brotherhood of makeup <laughs> <laughs> I have no idea what I'm saying. Anyway, things got weird in this video enough, so whatever. Okay. Okay, my love, so this is pretty much it for my anti-Valentine's Day tutorial. I actually am loving this. This is a lot more like cherry cordial style like you know you like chocolates honey you're gonna really like this look um speaking of which i really want some chocolate that's the only time this holiday is good for is for getting fatter or eating more carbs but anyway i actually love dominatrix is actually one of my favorite lipsticks um and i love i didn't i've never paired it up with this look but i think i might wear it to work tomorrow so yeah um it's very monotone isn't it <laughs> So yeah, that's pretty much it for my very monotone, cherry cordial, anti-Valentine's Day gothic -y makeup look. <laughs> anyway guys, I hope you guys liked this video. Please thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. All the links to all the products that I used are down below. And I will see you guys in my next video. Love you guys. Bye. I talk too fucking much, y'all. Too much.